Hey guys, what's up? It is, let's see, Saturday, August 8th. All right, and today I am officially starting my 100 pound weight loss journey. So I'm excited. Um, I usually go uh, to, so some of the biggest problems that I'm facing right now is right now I'm working overnight. So that's one issue. And um, I'm kind of, so I'm traveling a lot. So I'm working overnight and then I'm on the road a lot because I travel to Richmond, Virginia for work and then I live in North Carolina. So I'm on the road, on the go a lot. And so I usually go from work to the gym, to my studio and back to work. Like, so kind of like that while I'm here. And then once I'm home, I'm a little bit more stationary and stuff like that. So that's the two biggest issues that I'm facing. So with being on the road, it's kind of hard for me to eat healthy without just going to a fast food joint or something like that. Um, yeah, and so that that's definitely got to go. Uh, I cannot officially weigh myself for on this very first video. I mean, I do know what I weigh, which is about which is the last I weighed myself, which was a week ago. Yes, a week ago was 268. You guys, this is the largest I have ever been in my entire life, and I'm not a fan, okay? It, ha it has to go. Like, 268. So, um, yeah, and I'll update you guys with the uh, weigh-in and everything once I get to my side of town, which is the scale, I try to be consistent with using once I get over to North Carolina. But, um, but yeah, so um, once I'm leaving work now, and so usually once I leave work, I head over to the gym and do what I have to do in the gym. Now, I work out at Planet Fitness, and now Planet Fitness is not like top scale rated gyms it does what it needs to do and so um as far as like meeting with a trainer or anything like that i really haven't been able to do that i think i asked them about a trainer and they didn't have anybody available so uh i haven't met with a trainer or anything and i don't even think their trainer system is like an official trainer so i kind of go based off me so what i do for starting out i do like cardio uh on the elliptical for like 30 minutes and then once I finish with that 30 minutes I go and do um I guess it's resistance I don't really know y'all I'm I don't know I'm just winging it out here I'm, I'm just hoping that it'll work okay it'll get your girl right and so I try to research a few things and before I go to the gym officially today I'm gonna look and see a couple more things and make sure I'm hitting everything that I need to hit and what I'll do because I am on the road is I'll go to the store, grab me a cooler. I had a cooler, but I don't know. Those bad coolers, they're not, um, it was melting. So I'm going to go to the store, grab a cooler, and I'm going to put me some healthier foods inside the cooler so I don't have to keep going first of all to fast food and eating out and stuff like that i was doing good with that for a while and then i got lazy but it does not feel great especially traveling as much as i do and being on the go as much as i am and that fast food is like at this point i'm just eating it because i need to eat to survive but it's not even satisfying so i don't even want it um so yeah so, um, yeah, and then another big problem. So, I have three big problems, y'all. Another big issue is drinking fluid. Like, even, um, not just water per se, but I do need to drink more water, but fluid in general. Like, I can go an entire day and not drink anything, and that is a problem. So, my goal is water, like drink more water so not even more whatever any of other thing like uh yeah i think like yesterday i had a bottle of water and then i had wendy's uh this this was it like this little drink i think this was a lemonade that was it and i had bottled water one bottle of water in that and that's horrible so i need to drink more water 
uh, I need to eat healthier and I definitely need to make sure I'm in the gym and I have been going to the gym so I've been going to the gym now for a, a good month uh, but I, I've been going to the gym for like four days a week now the the my biggest issue with that is okay now i i won't say i've been eating 100 percent right but i mean i've saw like a two to three pound drop no let me see yeah like a two to three pound drop but i have not seen significant weight loss now i'm not saying that my numbers should be crazy crazy high but i know I, so I, I don't know so i'm i'm thinking i need to really switch some things up and i really really want this to work uh i really 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 want this to work and so i'm gonna be switching some things up with my diet and what i'll do is go uh like this first week or the first couple weeks and you know check in with you guys and uh we're gonna see what this does so um yeah i definitely want to see a difference and i don't want to be wasting my time going to this gym y'all and i'm not seeing any results so i definitely want to hit the gym and i want to make sure i'm eating healthier throughout the day as well so yeah that's what i'm gonna do and um yeah and if you guys have any tips trades or whatever you know please comment below i do not know everything I do not know everything and I am just learning as I go throughout this process but what I can guarantee you guys is that I'm going to be consistent and I'm going to make sure I check in with you guys because this weight has got to go you guys I'm telling you like I remember seeing the number 270 when I was young and like middle school not me weighing that but i saw that number and i remember saying like oh my god i never want to weigh that and when i stood on the scale and i weighed what i weigh now i was so disappointed like i was so extremely disappointed and i don't even know how i got to those numbers i do know that this pandemic has played a big part in that because before the pandemic i was not weighing this but um i can't put it all in the pandemic either you know making bad choices and not you know just treating my body the best you know is the biggest issue and so i want to take control of that and i want to take you guys along for this journey so i'm super excited for this and like i said i hope you guys have something to offer to this some benefits some tips all that good stuff i am open for it all uh another thing i have been taking is like b12 vitamins honestly y'all to be honest i don't know if i haven't paid attention to it but i've taken a good amount of these as you can see like y'all see mm, what the world the gummies are down here and so this thing was full and you take like two a day and i don't know y'all i don't feel like i've noticed a lot of significant changes with that but anyway i just want to do everything healthier like i turned 30 uh this past year and honestly i just want to live a healthier life healthier body healthier mind you know healthier spirit all things healthy that is my goal you know for year 30 and so there's no better time than the present and i decided and honestly it was a tr even to decide this y'all while i'm constantly on the go it's a lot you know i'm because it's a lot i had to really make up my mind but y'all know i was serious about it when i'm like listen ebony we got to do something i don't even care that you're not going straight home like whatever like you got to lose this weight so um, yeah, so that is the goal. That's what we're going to do. And I'm excited. And yeah, um, that's what we're going to do, y'all. And I don't know. I'm just really, I ain't going to say I'm really, really sad. I'm just really, really disappointed that I've gotten to this point And I just have to change something. Like, it has to change. It has to give, you know, all that good stuff. So, yeah, man. So today we're starting this at 268 
and it's got to go. So 100 pound weight loss. If it's more, it's great. If it's not, you know, but if it's more, that would be wonderful. And I'll be updating you guys as often as possible. Like I said, we're going to make it get through this, you know, we will get through this week together or whatever. And so I'll let you guys see what my day really consists of as far as like traveling and being on the go and everything like that. And you guys get to see what I'm kind of dealing with, with, you know, whatever. Now, whew, it's a lot, but, um, yeah. So, um, I'm going to the grocery store, get my stuff for like fruit. I mean, fruit and vegetables and stuff like that fruit and vegetables and do that um but yeah so that's what i'm gonna do first it i think i'm a the food lion is up here but y'all i do not like food lion to be honest i don't like food lion as far as going to the grocery store so what i'll do is probably hit walmart hit walmart up would probably make more sense if I went to Walmart because yeah and I'll probably go to the Walmart over by the gym y'all I have no mask I just realized that so what happened was I brought those Hanes masks wait it might be one in there but it uh, I brought those Hanes masks and the Hanes masks, you have to wash them. Like, I mean, you should replace all your masks, but the hand mask, the Hanes cotton mask gets so disgusting. It gets filthy. And so I literally went through an entire pack, probably in a week, because I this particular week I was wearing makeup and all kinds of stuff. And so I had that that um I had that mask and it was just disgusting. So yeah, that's the problem with that. So I gotta figure out how to get a doggone mask before I get to Walmart because Walmart is like the doggone uh Alcatraz. But yeah, but y'all y'all go with your girl on this journey. My back is itching, sorry. Y'all go with me on this journey. We're gonna knock it out. We're gonna do this thing right. Uh, yeah, make sure y'all like this video. Subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you can see me throughout this journey. You can get the updates. Uh, for the first week, I'm gonna be posting kinda often just to update you guys and let you know how my day went as far as like workout and me eating. Um, so, yeah. So you're not gonna have to wait that long for an update as far as uh, content is concerned. I'm gonna be showing you guys a little piece of my workout. Today, I'm gonna figure everything out. So going forward, I'm gonna show you guys pieces of my workout. So once I get everything situated today and figure out exactly what I'm gonna be doing, where areas I'm gonna be targeting, and then I'll let you guys go with me as far as the workout is concerned. But yeah, wish me luck, y'all. I'm excited. And once I come from the grocery store, I'll let you guys know what I got, okay? All right, guys, so I'm back and I went to the store. Um, the cooler's back there, but I grabbed a little cooler. I got watermelon, four salads. Uh, what else? Oh, these little boat house drinks. This one is the breakfast smoothie. However, this is all right. I'm not feeling, it's yogurt in this and I'm not feeling that. But the other ones are just the juices. Um, what else I get? Oh, apples. I thought these were the cutest little apples and I'm actually gonna drink this and eat some apples before I go to the gym. Eat an apple, I'm some of some apples, but they're so little y'all, they're so cute. Look. tiny they are yeah so 
Um, yeah, I got apples. It says new apple. Oh no, I guess it's new. They're so cute though. Um, yeah, so I got these little apples, watermelon juices, uh, water. I'm gonna kind of just get that on the go. I should have bought some water, but I wouldn't have been able to fit that whole thing in there, that cooler. Um, what else I get? I think that's it, the salads. Yeah, I didn't buy a whole bunch of stuff because like I told y'all, uh, I'm i on the road and then I'm home. So I only got enough for you know a few days. If it lasts that long, because I might end up having to go back to the store. But like I said, I had the cooler before and the problem before is the ice melt. So I just bought enough for like now and then I just go back to the store or whatever. And just to keep me out of the fast food joints, so I'm telling y'all. It's, it's, it's blah. Yeah. So now I'm about to go to the gym. About to head to the gym. Hope nobody come in behind me. Y'all, and thank the Lord for the man in Walmart who had a mask. He was so sweet. He was like, do you need a mask? The little older man standing. Lady, get on. Oh trying to get out of here yeah the man at walmart at the door he is so friendly you know how they have the greeters and everything there mm. okay, sir. but yeah you know how they have the greeters and everything at walmart i didn't pop the curb how i do that he was so nice oh the man was so nice what the crap Oh, glasses. But yeah, the man, he was so friendly and sweet. You can see his job is super important to him. But yeah, now I'm going to the gym. I have my backpack already. So what I do when I go to the gym is I pack my bag before I go, you know, my little gym bag. Cause I mean, I can work out in this, but it's not the most comfortable thing. So I'm gonna come out of this and work out, hit the shower, and then head to my studio. What are some habits you guys adopt? So I do notice like for me, like being new to the whole workout thing, I actually have to make it kind of inevitable that I go to the gym. So like while I'm out, I have to go to the gym while I'm out and I have to purposely put it in my mind like, okay, Ebony, before you go and get distracted with whatever you're gonna do, uh, I have made it a habit where I just automatically go to the gym as soon as I get off work, you know, except for today when I went to the grocery store, but I go straight to the gym because if I do not, I will not go. All right. So what are some habits that you guys put into place so you can make sure you do what you have to do? Um, but yeah, I have to go to the gym like while I'm out and about, you know, so I make sure my bag is packed and all of that stuff so I can hit the gym and I can kind of keep moving from there. Um, now, when I'm in North Carolina, the gym there has not even opened yet. So, yeah, I, I haven't developed a good gym regimen when I go back there, but I need to because one, at least one of those days I should be working out. So, I get about a good four days in while I'm here for the gym, and I need one more of those days when I'm in North Carolina, so I need to actually pick up a day and make sure I work out. Now, that's the gym part is an excuse, but y'all, we have a treadmill right in the house, so it's really not an excuse. So, I just need to make it my business to make sure I get on that treadmill while I'm at home. Yeah. 
So yeah, comment below y'all and let me know what are some things you put into place so you can make sure you do what you have to do in a day. Like and even as far as like, you know, eating healthy. Like I say, I had to go to the store, get some things and you know, go shopping and stuff like that. When I'm home, it's totally different. Like I'm not running back and forth as much. Uh, my friend, he cooks. That's the biggest problem, I think. He cooks, but he actually cooks pretty healthy. But I don't think his portion size is, is right. Like, he just give me way too much food on the plate. Like, but yeah. So, anyway. But yeah. So, I don't have to worry about too much when I'm home. Uh, Pretty much just saying no. But when I'm out, I can buy... And get what I'm gonna get, y'all. This parfait mess is gonna tear my stomach up. I can feel it already. It's not gonna be true. It's yogurt. I didn't realize it was yogurt. I didn't pay attention. I see it right there on the thing, but I didn't pay attention. So yeah, so I'm excited for this start. Um, yeah, y'all. I had to pair these things together because I'm gonna tell you, ain't nothing worse than me trying to be intentional about weight loss and you go to the gym to the gym to the gym and like i said before y'all i started going to the gym my um workout habits or my fitness was zero like i mean i would go back and forth or whatever but my fitness was zero and what happened was i was working out with one of my friends like you know er sporadically or whatever working out but I noticed my how my body responded. Typically, y'all, I'm a big girl, but when I go to the gym and stuff, my endurance is pretty good. But I was noticing like aches. People say when 30 comes, like you really feel it, but I was noticing like aches and stuff in my body or stiffness in my body that I shouldn't be having at 30 years old. I haven't even had children yet. Nah, we can't be doing that. Like, so I was just like, Ebony, get yourself under control and we're going to move forward from there. And what I really desire to do, I don't know if you guys know, but two years, not two years ago, but about, I would say it'll be a year. It's coming up on a year ago that I started back eating meat. Originally, I had given up meat and I was off of meat for two years. And when I say meat, I mean like red meat, chicken, beef, well, red meat, uh, pork, all that stuff. I was still eating seafood. So I went pescatarian for a year. I mean, for two years. And so my goal, what I really want to challenge myself with is vegan. I really want to challenge. I know you, you guys probably say, everybody want to go vegan. But yeah. I want to give myself that challenge. Like, pescatarian for me was a challenge for me. And just to reset my system as far as that meat is concerned, I was kind of feeling a little bogged down, like, as far as the meat. Now, I really want to commit to a uh, vegan. I don't know if it would last a lifetime or what, but I just want to give myself that challenge to see if I'm capable and I know I'm capable because I was very shocked that I did the meat for two years the no meat for two years very very shocked but I was very proud of that that moment so yeah all right y'all so I'm going to the gym we're here yeah, so I'm going to go in the gym, Planet Fitness, and get my workout on. And then I will holler at you guys when I come out of the gym. All right?
So, we officially finished at the gym. I'm about to go drink the rest of this water and then uh, eat. So, yeah, y'all have a good day. Thanks for following me today. And wish me luck on this journey. I'm super excited. Bye.